we're starting to move boxes outside. This room is almost empty. The living room is almost empty. This room is almost empty. Just say hi. Okay, now my turn. for some last minute boxes and supplies to wrap my furniture. I'm so tired, it's only 8.49. So it is okay. Taking some bubble wrap, retch wrap, medium, small. To finish removing everything from my apartment, um, I'm getting the carpets cleaned. Thankfully, my mom has been helping out the last few days, and without her, I literally don't even know what I would be doing. I'd be so stressed out because she has been helping out so much. I am so excited to get out of this apartment. I'm just ready for this new spot. Ah, let's go. Lay back so long, I'm, I'm trying, trying to get turned. Uh, that's, that's how you get hurt. Get hurt. And I do, yes, I want it more. My city used to a come up. And that was the day that I maybe I know somewhere deep in my soul the love never lasts. And we've got to find other ways to make it alone. But keep a straight face. This is the last of what I have in the apartment, and I'm basically finalizing everything today, making sure that everything looks good. There are a few things I have to take, like this mirror, all of this shit, so. Ah, it's happening, Tov. It's happening. This kitchen was so cute. I really like this kitchen. Period. I fucked up my shoe. I don't know how. <laughs> this shit fell apart on me. Everything pretty much looks good. I just have these last few things to take out and we're good to go. Currently uploading. You and I both look crazy right now. We gotta comb our hair. You guys look at how crazy Tope's hair looks so crazy. Okay, you guys, Dr. Kellyanne Bone Broth. This one's in roasted chicken. I bought these the other day. This one's classic chicken, and this is Thai lemongrass. So as most of you know, I have been eating more meats and dairies. Digestion is something I've been really focusing on. My gut health is something I've been really focusing on. I found out that bone broth helps you. This is the one I've been drinking, Dr. Kellyanne. Today I'm gonna have the roasted chicken and I'm really excited because it's my first time trying that one. I'm taking it in the afternoon as well, but I heard it's the most beneficial to take on an empty stomach with nothing in your system right before you eat anything. And you can also drink some right before your workout as well.
Honestly, haven't tried to take glutamine, so drinking some bone broth is gonna help with my gut. It has some collagen as protein. This right here has 30 grams of protein. They have so many different flavors, and they also have powders that you can take on the go, which is super cool. It's been really prepping my gut for all the food I'm gonna intake throughout the day, and I'm definitely noticing all the benefits. If you wanna get some bone broth, make sure to check out drkellyanne.com and get some for yourself. <laughs> Shops. You guys already know the deal. I'm gonna make my pre workout. If you guys ever want to save on supplements from HP, use my code Daisy10. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous to hit legs today. You guys are probably like legs again. Yeah, girl, legs again. And what? What are you gonna do? Fight me? So this is my holy grail supplement. If you have not taken creatine, I definitely recommend. I will put the perks of taking creatine on the screen here. I'm bowling, bowling, keep pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Little when I listen, but I told him, told him one more time Your favorite MC's bones are silver These vibes here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders But bars at the club, rolling, rolling TikTok comes along, they get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Feet like flavors, cookie and biscuit Found here, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up my soft, yo, every time I tripped up Look, they call it the big rock Me and my DT and the thing mix up Full circle, now everybody linked up That's irrelevant, man, we like an elephant this was the gym fit of the day. A jersey and some Adidas sneakers. Wild salmon from Alaska or seasoned salmon to see depleted. I'm also trying to get into crab. I never like What I really don't like, I don't really like lobster. I, I never got why. into lobster. But maybe it's because I had it in like, I didn't have like a good one. Yeah. I could make you lobster tails, which are just freaking out. You like lobster, but you don't like crab? What a cute boy. My fit is so fucking crazy, but this is what's comfortable right now. Bitch on the bar, alien superstar. Hey. We're gonna get ready outside. Only right to get ready outside and up to you guys on what has been going down. Elk makeup, they sent me so many goodies to try, so I'm thinking I can try some of these out today. I'm officially out of my apartment, which I'm so excited about because 
towards the end of my lease, I was having so many fucking issues with them that I was like, I cannot wait to be out of here. I was just like, this is too much. This is too much, girl. And to be paying a hefty rent price, no thanks. Let's start with some bronzer. I kind of really want some coffee right now, but I know I shouldn't because I've just been overly caffeinated. And this whole transition has had me in the worst place. Like, I'm not taking care of myself. I'm overly caffeinated. I'm not eating enough. These last two weeks, I have been completely out of the gym. Like now that I'm out of my apartment and I don't have to trip about packing stuff, getting shit out of the apartment, I can now focus on just trying to make healthier habits. It, this whole move feels so surreal to me because I have never lived in a house before. I've only ever lived in apartments and in like a mobile home. So for me, even though I'm renting, this is a huge deal. And I feel like it just feels so fake. I feel like I have like imposter syndrome because I'm like, how am I doing this shit? And who blessed me in this way? It just doesn't feel real. It's so weird. You guys, these are so tiny little baby blushes only right to use this shade because it's like technically fall so lately i've been feeling this guilt my parents came here from mexico to give me a better life and i kind of feel some type of way about me like trying to upgrade my life but not simultaneously upgrading my parents life it makes me feel like I'm not working hard enough like I feel like I am upgrading my life but I'm not simultaneously upgrading my parents life at the same level that I'm upgrading mine so it makes me feel really guilty whenever I make big steps like this in my life because I feel like I should also be doing that for my parents but obviously like that's so hard to do I don't know I don't know I just feel like I need to work harder so that way I could continue to bring myself up, but also simultaneously bring my parents up with me. I don't know, like, do any of you guys feel this way? I, I just feel like my parents sacrificed everything to come here and do so much to give me and my sister a better life. Now that I'm out here doing all of these things, I feel like I should be doing these things for my parents as well. We live in such a crazy world where like doing stuff like this is already hard just to do it for yourself. Sometimes I'm like, how am I gonna do this for myself and my parents? I mean, it's not impossible to do, you know? As long as I continue to strive for more and work hard, I feel like I can get there, but it just sucks that I'm not there yet. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like, do any of you guys feel this way? I don't know. Oh. Yo, what's good? Good morning. Did he just wake up? Like, um, two of my cats were being kind of crazy. Um, so anyways, um, we're stop at home. Yeah, mood. Literally whenever I take pre-workout hella late. Oh my gosh, sometimes I won't sleep till like three. Yeah, dude. Especially if I take like double the scoops or whatever. Yeah. So. Okay, guys, it's official. The apartment is completely empty and clean. I'm so happy. I'm not going to walk in there, but here we go. End of an era. We're fucking dipping, and I got hella shit out here. Gotta throw in the car. Guys, this lamp so beautiful but let's look at the price a hefty 1895 <laughs> love that oh my god I'm crying and throwing up this table the black this is beautiful you guys I really wanted a fountain and I found one but I don't like the color so I'm thinking maybe I could buy it and paint it because it's only 38 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I have not 
knock on thrifting because look at this. A few trips and I'm already packed in the car. A bit of a haul of what I got at the estate sale and while I was thrifting. I mentioned this before but I was trying to not thrift for a while because there was just no reason for me to thrift if I didn't know where I was going to be living. But now that I know where I'm living, now I can thrift and buy more home stuff and buy more furniture and today we're doing our first haul for the new home i haven't gone thrifting in so long now that we know what we're gonna say now that we got a home i'm like okay time to dibble and dabble in some estate sales and some thrifting i was on facebook marketplace and i stumbled across an estate sale and i was like oh my gosh i have to go to this estate sale for this cherry. I went to the estate sale and I was really hoping that everything would be like affordable and it was. I honestly did not record in there because on go mode, I wanted to make sure that I got that damn cherry and I did. Bring y'all with me. Look at this cherry. It's like a whole little art piece. It looks really dark on camera, but it's like a deep cherry red. I'm mostly looking for decor and art right now. First, I'm gonna start with the things that I got at the estate sale. And I am so glad the estate sale had a great pricing because the lady that previously lived in that home, everything she had was so amazing. Like I could have bought everything if I wanted to, but I didn't. Like she had this tabertine table and I think she was probably selling it for like $300. I was shook. Start with the candlesticks since they're kind of in the way. So I love candlesticks, specifically like a really bold candlestick. Um, and I already have some tavertine candlesticks, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I went for these ones right here. They're silver and then they have brass and they are ginormous, they're heavy. I also bought these because I have so much silver and so much chrome and eventually I want to kind of dibble and dabble in some gold and brass but I don't want it to be so like mismatched so I figured these would be a really great starter piece because as you can see they have the silver in the middle and then they have the brass on the outside. It is getting a little bit dark. They're so beautiful. Also got this raw iron candlestick. Love the shape. Like, do you guys see the shape? Whenever I get the chance, I always like to buy my candles secondhand because these candles can go anywhere between like 20 to 40 bucks. And I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks for one of these. So I got these. They were both two dollars each. Big candles. I also purchased this little bathroom magazine towel rack. I'm gonna put this in the half bath that's going to be on the main living space. It's just chrome, simple, cute. I'll just start pulling stuff out. This right here, honestly, I had always wanted one of these, but I just never went out of my way to buy one because every time I would see them being resold in LA, people would resell them for, I don't even know how much money. And I got this for three bucks today. Then I got pretty, I would say this is like a mid-century tea kettle. I really wanted a tea kettle to just have on my stove at all times and I feel like this is the perfect one. Love the handle because you just grab it and then you're like, boop. I didn't have anything to hold my toothbrush and I had been meaning to look for something for a really long time but nothing ever stood out to me until I saw this. So when I saw this, I was like, Say less, I'm getting that. This little black lamp is very mid-century. It's old, but it's cute and it's so small. I love little lamps like this because you can just put them in like little nooks and crannies. It's so cute. So I got this one and then I also got this one. This one is actually an Ikea lamp. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, can I put this on a wall? Wait. <gasps> I can put this on a wall like this. I didn't know that I could put this on a wall like that. Stop. This is so cute. I'm thinking about putting a lamp in the um, kitchen. I love when people put lamps in their kitchen. So that's why I got a lot of little lamps. So I can figure out which one I want to put in the kitchen. <laughs> this along with the cherry was the most randomest things that I got. I was like, I really want this so I can use it as like my makeup tray. It has a little kitten with little fish. This was made in Italy. There's the tag. 
You guys, when I tell you it's never ending, it's literally never ending. Got this little organizer and it is so cute it has little nooks at the top and then you remove it and then there's more storage you can stack it however you want and it's just so creative kind of some unamusing things that i got strainer because i needed something a little bit smaller i want to get into my hosting era hosting dinners etc and i saw these at the estate sale i was like them all for a dollar which was such a good deal so these are acrylic napkin rings so cheap and they're acrylic i love acrylic beautiful hand-blown bowl bright orange i've been noticing that i've been really gravitating towards bright colors recently especially for my home which is something i would have never expected but i'm just going with the flow and going with whatever feels right and calls my name buy these for pastries and baking and then I also got this for my little bar area. So I've been really into Aperol spritz. I thought these glasses right here would be perfect for Aperol spritz. Love hand-blown glass. So I only got two of these, but that's okay. Really affordable. It was $2 for each one. Salt and pepper shakers. These were made in France. So cute. The perfect size. They're not too big. I tried to not buy too much acrylic because again, I love acrylic. I really didn't want to buy acrylic, but when I saw these, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me buy them. And I really like them. I don't recall if I showed you guys the honey pot. You guys see that right there. It's a honey dispenser. And I got this for $3.00 and 25 cents if you know you know i ended up finding the matching one a little sugar jar so i'm gonna add some sugar in here i'm a fan of very large drinking glasses so i got these right here i don't know what you would call this pattern i already have a few of these italian plates kind of reminds me of a picnic i found this larger one today i got it for one dollar this is a tray a silver tray with little legs and i think i'm just going to have like stuff on it and have this on the counter i feel like it looks super cute i really like silvers and chromes and pops of color and acrylic and stuff that kind of sometimes will look space age even though like this is not space age this is kind of giving more antique vibes i don't know i kind of be blending shit sometimes i don't even know but i do know that i'm gonna make it look good you guys last but not least this haul is going on for forever i got some slippers i got these bright yellow furry faux fur slippers they're so stinking cute cutest slippers i've ever owned i also got some teddy bear slippers so cute so excited to wear these they're so cute i got a faux fur vest with a hood i have little fake fruits already but i don't have like the complete collection of fruits i also ended up finding the grapes today a little chili i found another apple banana i think the ones that i have are wood and these are like a like a glass oh my gosh that little plate already looks so cute and then also this little candle holder for another pop of color candlesticks cupcake candle a lot of candles it's kind of a lot of stuff and honestly, this was so unexpected because I was not planning to really do anything today. But whenever I'm in Sonoma, I'm going to hit up all my favorite thrift stores. I've gotten it all for such a good price. The only thing I've ever like paid a lot for is my furniture. But besides that, like everything else I own, it's a good price girl. Oh, see those figs. 